Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, September 23rd. Hope you guys had a great weekend here. Uh, we're off to a pretty good start here today. Let's take a look here and you'll see why. Economic data came out. We had uh, manufacturing from the market PMI flash for the month of September. So in August, we were kind of on the edge of going into a contraction because anything above 50 and above is considered expansion. And then when should we go below, it's contraction. So August was 50.3. However, it did go up a little bit to 51, which is uh, obviously a better sign than it going de declining. On the other hand, we got the uh, services section, and we had a 50.7 in month of August, and it climbed to a 50.9 in September. Again, uh, both re uh, went upwards, which is a good sign for us. Uh, let's take a look here at the headline news. Stocks are down. Uh, a lot of this sentiment is coming in from poor manufacturing because we had the Eurozone uh, PMI out there manufacturing and it came in really poor uh, some of the worst readings we've seen in quite some time over there and in at least in seven years or so uh, Germany got hit pretty hard and there's a few other countries got hit as well but uh, Eurozone is kind of what's kind of, the sentiment is kind of what's dragging the uh, market down a bit today also uh, China and US trade negotiations we had uh, the market kind of uh, abruptly turned last week, uh, last Friday, due to uh, some cancellations on farms. They, the Chinese delegates were supposed to visit some farms in uh, Montana, and the market took it as a negative sign. Uh, today, the Chinese are trying to downplay it. It wasn't anything negative. We're still on, on terms of going ahead and uh, meet in October, so they were just trying to downplay it. It wasn't as not to be taken as uh, what way the market took it, so not to be taken as a negative thing. Uh, that's what they're trying to say. So let's see how this is playing on the bond market. Bond market is liking it. We broke above the 50-day moving average on Friday, which is a good sign, as you can see here, this long uh, road here. And right now we're up approaching the 25-day moving average, which is now our ceiling. We're up about 14 basis points, which will translate into a little bit better mortgage uh, pr pricing. So we'll have better pricing and a little bit better rates today. So it's, it should be a good sign for those who are looking to refinance or purchase. Yields are also declining. It broke below this double support here uh, with the 50-day moving average, average and the uh, Fibonacci level here. Its next uh, stop here will be the 25-day moving average. So both are trying to uh, break above and below their, uh, depending on you know, the index, uh, their 25-day moving average. We're seeing a rate about 1.67 at this moment. And... Uh, We'll see. Uh, the big thing this week we'll have to watch for is Friday. We'll have the PCE, which is the Fed's favorite gauge for inflation. Uh, that will report out. Uh, the CPI has been going upwards. It's at 11-year high right now. And that's something we need to be cognizant going into. So if you got rates you're floating, you may want to kind of look towards locking towards Friday because if PCE... Uh, comes in hot that means uh you know bonds may not like that and probably go the opposite direction we may lose a lot of that pricing so just because going going forward that will be friday uh when that report will come out so you got a little time but just want to give you a heads up uh what's something that could disturb or um, disturb the bond market and interest rates coming friday depending on uh what kind of report we get from the pce all right so that's pretty much a wrap for the day but if you guys are out looking to buy a refinance here in california i am a loan officer i work with pinnacle mortgage or home loans um, we got quite a wide variety of programs and we got we can certainly find the best solution for you best way to reach me is either direct message me or email me uh, i'd love to hear from you guys i hope you guys have a great rest of your day thanks so much for watching look forward to see you guys tomorrow Bye bye